How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to North American Strikers League Season 4 Playoffs. Today we are getting straight into Showtime versus Bozo Bunch. Last match of the day. Two teams that... Uh, both teams from loser side. Both the teams that uh, lost out in round one of winners have been eliminated, and now we are looking at the fifth and sixth seed duking it out. One team will be taking fourth place, and the other team will be moving on to top three losers finals and face the loser of <laughs> Demons Raw versus Sad Boys. Yeah, and this is going to be a very, very interesting matchup because today it was blowout after blowout, but these are the two teams that came back, like you said, from the loser side, starting in the loser side, 2 0 ing the opponents that fell down. And these are also two teams that I think a lot of players have confidence in. A lot of predictions favored these two teams. I believe Vaughn's preseason ranking, although there was a lot of chatting involved, had these two teams in the top four. Yeah, absolutely. Both these teams really making a name for themselves. Had had some really, really rough games in the season, I think, but are here to play. And playoffs is the time that it matters. And <laughs> the black hole coming out here, blowing up the entirety of Bozo Bunch. And now it's, it's looking like a pretty good point for Showtime here. Barriers down, but still have all of the offensive momentum. Yeah, and there's Dropletto getting it out, though. Rhett staggered, looking for an opportunity to pass it up to Dropletto. The passing play is coming through. Joker looking to intercept, but it's Dropletto once again building up a flip quite swiftly. And a well-timed flip by Gret to stay alive. And a flip right afterwards by Dropletto to score the goal. The Bozo Bunch, a little shaky in the middle of that point, but they secure it nonetheless. The thing they have to watch out for, though, is that meter. They expended two flips on that point super early. And you know that the Joker is going to do a lot. Is Dropletto double own barrier. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What a hero. Uh, well, good news for them is that Showtime, in, in a bit of a foregone conclusion, considering the energy, claimed the point. They were able to get a flip off Joker, and uh, <laughs> we've tied it up 1-1 after a little bit of <laughs> chicanery going on on the barriers. That being said, uh, Dropletto and the entirety of Bozo Bunch, but especially Dropletto, hot off a big win against Bang Bang, and really playing really well. They have a lot of momentum going into this game, whereas Showtime has been waiting. And I think it's really showing, again, Drop Letter is just playing so well, dicing up these barriers. And I think that they have a really good shot, especially with their comp here. But an insane Sad Boys angle is gonna save that barrier. Fred's taking flight on the Dubu is not letting anything through. Yeah, Bread's starting to walk up a little bit. Pushing forward the offensive line with the log, it drifts backwards, but it's always such a threat when Dropletto and Gret are parallel there. The Tofu Fortress, Dropletto on the breakaway, intercepted by Barcode, who has been stoic on the defense on this Atlas pick, where he has uh, won notable tournaments before here, and um, it, it will be very, very difficult for the Bozo Bunch to get past that, even in an open net situation, but Dropletto won so many strike wars in the previous game, winning crucial points and taking the entire series. And if this guy gets the core, it's going to be so difficult. Joker being brought very low, no elusives available. A KO perhaps on the cards for the Bozo Bunch, but Dropletto is going for the dribbling play. A weird bounce by Shianzu, but it gets it clear for the moment. But Dropletto has the resources, has the core flip, and the Bozo Bunch go up 2-1. to one. Yeah, really nice core flip right in front of Barcode, who expended the strike and the strike shot, trying to catch the core up and drop out at a free shot down to the bottom corner. Now up a point, one point away from winning the set. Looking really, really strong right now. Bozo Bunch, I getting <laughs> chunked down, but able to get an orb. They just have to get it out here. And if they're able to get the barrier on their next offensive push, that might just be game, especially with how Dropletto is playing right now. Yeah, but this time Shianzu, one of the front runners for rookie of the season, only beaten by Drew is just getting in there, winning so many strike interactions, taking the barrier and trying to control it in the midfield. But the Bozo Bunch not done yet, but a great primary from Barcode will project forward. The core sent forward, but it's lost once again as Joker goes down. A good elusive by Obscure Breads. The evade save coming through and a great flip by Gret as well. Dropletto now 
with the ability to score this goal. Gets the core in front of the net. Waits patiently for the expanse, baits it out, and Pendulum swings it in for the first set win going over to the Bozo Bunch. Yeah, just surgical precision coming out from Dropletto, getting the MVP. HyperX Hero on deck, getting rewarded with a lot. Probably going to end up taking the Catalyst. Just a phenomenal awakening, but other good picks here, like Rampage, Rapid Fire, Orb Dancer could be interesting, but I'm fully expecting the Catalyst to just go right away. But no, not not picked, left up. And <laughs> Xiansu with the tough situation, denying the Monyu or just taking Catalyst, picks Catalyst, leaves Monyu for I, and that's why Drop Letter didn't take it, forcing Xiansu into that situation, and now that's the Monyu now. Yeah, incredibly well drafted by the Bozo Bunch to force that. Either it's Catalyst or it's Monyu, and we're seeing the effects of the Monyu right now on the kickoff. Two barriers taken in an instant. Gred just gets in there with the secondary, with the proximity drone, and now the Tofu Fortress is being pushed up as well. The now primary, such an obstacle, as Shion's is not getting any room to play, but Barcode still has the strike, still making the saves in the corner. And Obscure Breads defending two barriers, trying to walk up a Joker, making sure that the Dubu can't be on ice for now. Good saves by Gret and Droplo trying to advance, but Chianzu with an amazing interruption to stop and trying to get the snipe on the barrier as well. But a flip available, the dribbling plays, the flip not even necessary, just a little bit of hit stun as Droplo and Gret once again find the goal. Yeah, just beautifully played by Bo's the bunch there. They Droplo was able to dribble the ball for I, <laughs> just letting him tee up and get that setup that they needed and it's that's how much synergy these two players have how long they've been playing together Brad's almost killed Dropletto with that wall which would have been <laughs> hilarious <laughs> very funny interaction but here Brad's to the flip has been playing really well this entire game it's just holding down this barrier not letting anything through but hey <laughs> both goalies putting on a bit of a show barcode unfortunately has been cursed by me I have I've cast it upon him, my casting powers, and now open net. Bozo Bunch has the opportunity to score here. But Barcode's still not letting it through, but the core flip is going to take him out. And that is really, really tough for Showtime. Yeah, Barcode, while dying, made a save with his last breath, but it wasn't enough. Then the strike war right afterwards, won by the Bozo Bunch. But this time, Xianzu trying to make this point a little bit different than the previous ones with that early snipe onto a barrier here. But Yoshi, the Bozo Bunch are back at it again. They got the possession. A Muncher almost has that strike at the top side. And Joker trying to get this barrier, but it is once again the Tofu Fortress so well used by Obscure Breads. Always has it, it feels like, when it's exactly necessary. And Xianzu is not even getting a chance to use his flip, but does take out Dropletto. A little bit of greed on that full meter here. And with this power play, Showtime need to do something. Need to find this barrier. Yeah, Bozo Bunch getting a little comfortable there. And Showtime taking that opportunity to push forward. But the barrier is still not down. And Breads is just not letting it go. Doing a great job pushing up, has two Rampage stacks, and Bozo Bunch just has so much momentum. They are, they are looking indomitable here. Showtime is going to need a really, really strong push to get something, but that's Shianzu down, and it's looking really rough. One passing play is all it takes. Pendulum swing forward to stun the log to buy a lot of space from Obscure Breads, but a good flip by Barco to clear it away, but the situation just repeats itself. Of course, Shianzu is back. And the hook goes wide, but Dropletto has the dribble. Good reactions by Barcode. Good strike war by Shianzu to make sure it doesn't go in. And Dropletto gets chipped down, but good healing comes out from Gret. And Dropletto doesn't have to fear as much. Good shot to the bottom side. Joker dribbling, finding open space, but doesn't have the opportunity to use this flip. The possession maintained by the Bozo Bunch. Gret dribbling around the Astral Projection, but a good clear in the end. Shianzu winning another strike war to clear it away. And Showtime managed to survive, but... It's once again the onslaught coming through. Gret just takes out Barcode. And Barcode saved it for so long. Like four different amazing pushes by Bozo Bunch, all saved by Barcode. But Showtime just couldn't maintain any possession at all. Yeah, it just <laughs> in really, really long point, all of that just to unfortunately get knocked out at the very end and have to watch it go in. It's 
incredibly tough, but Showtime's just been playing defense so well, and despite Boza Bunch's beautiful offense, they're still struggling to get through. But now, Boza Bunch up two sets, rewarded with heavy impact now, which with Monumentalist is just, is just free cooldowns. As so much peak performance on Drop Leto and Reverb on Bread is going to make them way more tanky. Survivability through the roof. Barcode picking up team player, I think, could be a very big deal. And the explosive entrance, Dash Awakening on Xianzu gives him a lot more presence. But it's going to be tough for Showtime to bring it back. They're going to need <laughs> one, maybe two miracle plays. <laughs> maybe more than that if they want to get the momentum they need to get back into this game. Well, there's a small miracle there. A little bit of an own goal from Drop Leto. Own barrier, not as devastating as the previous. One barrier instead of two, but still a barrier for Showtime. And I did notice that team player as well, if Barcode can get some good clears, especially in overtime, that could really make the difference in terms of offense for Showtime, perhaps Joker face first into the Tofu Fortress. We've seen that so many times with Scare Bread maintaining that cooldown so incredibly well. And Shianzu getting the Strike Wars in the corner, making sure that that barrier will still stand for Showtime. A lot more time to play with than the previous set, but a KO is found. Joker goes down, and that additional stagger that was picked up on the side of Bozo Bunch just gives them so much more durability, ability to brawl, ability to stay alive and play their game as Shianzu has to flip, but it just stuffed away. And Showtime, once again, just cannot find the start to their offense at all. And just unable to keep it forward. Able to get a barrier off a good beam there, Xianzu. Looking really nice in that play. And the X Maximus pops. Able to punch right through both Eye and Breads. Really well played by Joker. And that's, that's what they need to do. And eight more of those will win them the game. If they're able to get it over there and convert if they're able to win and as they've just shown it's just so hard to maintain possession against the incredibly fast dubu pushing up in fact all of them on bozo bunch they're just so <laughs> fast covering so much space and are able to just keep the core up at all times because of it yeah, and keep in mind, this is a stacks on stacks game, right? Every single KO is that much more meaningful. The speed difference is being built up. And what a strike war by Drop Leto, setting up a crazy situation. Almost had the entire goal. We'll go for the dribbling play right now. Shianzu being chipped down. Those stacks being erased would be devastating for Showtime. But Shianzu does stay alive, heals all the way back to full. And the Bozo Bunch are forced to just go for a normal goal. But Barcode and Shianzu continuing to defend in the top side as Drop Leto comes in to win the strike war yet again. It's 1-1. The Bozo Bunch two goals away from taking this first game. Yeah, Drop Leto completely locked in, winning these on-the-line strike wars that are just getting them points. It Incredibly difficult strike wars that Showtime is just... Like, so hard for them to win. And a flip going wide. Doesn't matter. Able to get both barriers. Have both barriers up. This is looking like a Showtime favorite point. And in this set three, if they're able to, to swing it, it, win the oh. set and get advantage in draft, they might be able to get something done. But their barcode saving the barrier. Showtime is, is just looking great at this point. Sorry. No, but it, while you were saying that, while both barriers were down, drop Leto controlled the core for 10 entire seconds it felt like setting up this double barrier take for the bozo bunch and now forget about showtime shianzu needs to score with this flip because otherwise it's all bozo bunch right now drop letter with so much speed just gliding across the field a barcode is flipped but so does gret here and a slow push up could be what Bozo Bunch needs. Drop Leto just winning a strike war barcode space, forcing the flip to be burned. Important resource gone, but so is Drop Leto. And now it's Gret's turn to 1v3 perhaps on the offense, trying to win a strike war here. Gets getting it past for the moment. Obscure Breads flipping it away to the top side. And the respawn timer has been stalled out. Now the Bozo Bunch, their time to go on the offense. Striking it to the top side, burning away the expanse. Big cooldowns burned by Barcode as Shianzu tries to set up, but it's Drop Leto forcing out a good strike shot and strike warring the primary from barcode what a day from drop leto they're one goal away from going up in the series yeah unbelievable how well drop leto is playing right now he is he is so fast he is gliding he is winning every interaction a he's just a force to be reckoned with it feels impossible <laughs> to get through this guy and he's he's the brawler 
and he's he's going up into Shianzu and Barcode and just steamrolling. And with all the support from Gret and Breds, it this is just looking like a Boza Bunch game. Joker being brought incredibly low. A KO here would be really bad for Showtime. The stacks could be reset, but just picking up an orb. Boza Bunch not focused on that KO, just focused on winning the game here, perhaps. But now, Joker in a little bit of a vulnerable state, but so are the barrier. Shianzu takes them, wins the Strike Wars. This is the Shianzu. That was rumored here. This is the Shianzu with massive expectations coming to the season, winning the Strike Wars on the bottom side, trying to set up this goal. Pass to Joker. Obscure Breads gets a little mixed up by the 50-50 from Joker, but there's no mix-up here. Just a straight shot into the goal, and we're heading to a critical fifth point. Yeah, this is Showtime's opportunity. They have to be able to hold against everything Boza Bunch is throwing out, or else it's game. You know, that's it. Oh. This is their chance. But that's one barrier down, and that's it got a sting. Just it's it's not even 10 seconds, and that goes down. Able to hold the flip though. Looking really nice. Dropletto has a flip of his own. And the core is getting dangerously close to the barrier. Dropletto will be using it, getting the getting it right there. Shanzu has a flip, but if oh. it goes in right here, it doesn't matter. And passing play up. Primary burn. That's every cooldown, I think, off of barcode, but a good flip by Shianzu will stall it a lot of time. But drop letter wins yet another strike where Shianzu goes flying. And the save is still made somehow. Pass up to Gret, bottom side, little dangerous, Dropletto staying alive despite the X Maximus, and it's actually Shianzu who goes down, now a power play for the Bozo Bunch, all they need is one more goal to the top side, amazing defense by Barcode, but it isn't enough, the Bozo Bunch, do it again. Yeah, just one after the other, taking out, taking games, winning these insane interactions, it just... Insane. It is a Bozo masterclass, and they are one game away from putting Showtime out of playoffs and getting into losers' finals here. Sad boys, demons, and the Bozo bunch, perhaps, in the top three. Where have I heard that before? A certain <laughs> Afrika TV Invitational is reminding me of what happened here, but they still have to win another game. They still have to break my prediction. I predicted just out of nowhere. Achi asked me who's getting fourth place. I said the Bozo Bunch confidently. Maybe I underestimated them, you know? <laughs> Some people might have said, no, they're getting fifth, sixth. But maybe they're getting third here. Right, and... Hey, maybe they go all the way. You know, they, <laughs> they are playing phenomenally right now, and I, I think there is... Uh, the ceiling has not been hit yet, and we might see you know, Shades of Afrika come through. Boza Bunch third, taking on Sad Boys or Demons Rock could again get second. Could win it all. It's <laughs> they're playing so well. That being said, Showtime is not out of it yet. There are still one, maybe even two games left, and we are going to Clarion Test Chamber, a map that we see Showtime on a lot. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like they always go to this map, and they always perform on this map. And so I think this is a great opportunity for them in this game to, to uh, go to the first Game 3 all day, all playoffs. It has been 2-0 after 2-0. Uh, we, we could see a little bit of a mix-up here. Unless, unless Bozo wants to pack it up and go home fast, this is Showtime's opportunity to get back into the game, take us through game three, and show us that the show's not over yet. Yeah, and Clarion Test Chamber, a map, like you said, that Showtime has showed a great performance on so many times. Wow. You know, that, that's crazy. I use both show and time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the team. Yeah, um... But I think what's going to be interesting is how the draft pans out. Of course, um, all the teams today, I believe, have opted to go to blue side on their side selection. Sometimes we see red side a little bit. We saw a lot of red side picks during the season. But none of that here. Everyone going to blue side and the Bozo Bunch will do the same. They have map priority here on Showtime's pick and they will pick the blue side. The picks haven't come in yet, but... It's going to be very, very interesting to see how they approach this because the I think um, 
I think I've heard once or twice that this Showtime team and this Bozo Bunch team are pretty similar. And I've even heard like, oh, the Showtime team is like a slightly better version of the Bozo Bunch. But that's not what happened in this game, right? This game, the Bozo Bunch looked like they were in full control. Joker, who looked so dominant against Bun Bun Bonanza, just wasn't allowed to play the game. The core was always kept away from his hands. So I think there's a decent chance that they pick Joker a more controlling midfielder, a midfielder like Brawler here, right? The Rasmus or the Kazan, because they need to give him agency. But I'm, I'm not sure. They, they could go for other stuff as well, but it, it just felt rough seeing Joker not really able to play the game. Yeah, Bozo Bunch was able to just maneuver around you know, big clunky X, and that meant that he was just kind of out of most plays. And so it took a lot of effort from him and Shianzu to keep the ball up. And you know, when Bozo Bunch could do that <laughs> without all the work, it just mean, meant that Bozo Bunch had all the control in the game. Seeing Erasmus come out from Joker, I think, would be really nice. Uh, I think the comparisons between Joker and Dropletto are pretty appropriate. Both have been, like, Dropletto is, is the X guy, been playing X <laughs> since day one, has the pocket Rasmus, which has been going crazy today. And Joker has been seeing a ton of success this whole season, picking characters like X and Rasmus. And so uh, I think getting Joker on, like you said, a more controlling brawler be very nice to see give him a lot more agency and we could see dropletto pick up the x you know which is usually just banned or picked away from him but you could see what he can get done on the pick and see if it has similar struggles or if he has the same problems on it that we saw joker have last game yeah but the bozo bunch are the ones who pick up the rasmus dropletto has been performing but it also could be an obscure breads pick, right? This is a crazy flex pick for pick one, and it gives them a lot of flexibility later on into this draft. Yeah, very nice. Bozo, pick one Rasmus. <laughs> it, may, it makes me smile a lot. Dropletto can, can pick that up. Breads can pick that up. Muntred. May, maybe. No. <laughs> but that will not happen. Not. Pro probably not. But yeah, like you said, it gives them so much control in the draft because they can respond to whatever a Showtime does. And that's a Zentaro Kai. And they were able to just pick Amy X. Like, hey, X is up. You're getting X, buddy. <laughs> You're getting your character. Uh, otherwise, they could have just picked uh, a goalie and. Or. or yeah, and then put Dropletto on the Rasmus, and everything was fine. They just... It's, it's really nice. It's a great first pick for this team that I don't think many other teams benefit from. Anyway, Showtime rounding off the comp with Atlas once again. And honestly, I, I really like the Showtime comp here. Uh, Zen, Zen Kai is a really nice forward pair, and with Barcode on the Atlas in the back, I think they have a pretty good shot here. Yeah, I, I like it as well, especially on the heavy impact start, right? Zentaro gives a lot more mobility than DX in Joker's hands. And I, I think that Showtime have all the tools they need to win this game. Draft doesn't determine everything, but they do have the resources necessary. We'll have to see if they can convert that into a win to keep this series alive. And as we get started, Zioshi OC64, do you know what game this is? Oh, I think I do, but... <laughs> I'll let you have the honor. Tell me, what game is this right here, right now? The 500th game of the North American Strikers League. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there have been 499 games before this, and today we gather to watch the 500th game of the North American Strikers League. Bozo Bunch versus Showtime, Game 2, Season 4 of the North American Strikers League playoffs. Here we go, and already starting off, a lot of damage on Joker, which it, he is Zentaro into Rasmus goalie. Uh, a rough matchup. <laughs> no stagger, having a little child getting beat up by Pauldron's goalie. But Dropletto 
just sitting here able to take the barriers. Joker is down and Boza Bunch is continuing their dominance with a great X Maximus coming out from Dropletto. Showing a little <laughs> bit of his expertise on the character there. At was a, was a really bad pun and I'm it's yeah, your turn. Okay, okay. I don't well, want to think about it. <laughs> so I'm really liking this Rasmus goalie pick from Scare Breads actually. Um, of course, an amazing first pick flex. It could have gone to drop Leto had the draft turned out differently. But the the speed and the agency that Obscure Breads has in terms of walking up a little bit, throwing out those pendulum swings, we saw it in full force on Project Xeno. And it, it just makes it so, so difficult for, once again, Joker and Chianzu to maintain possession. Drop Leto and Gret are going to have a little bit of a rough time here with Joker's damage as Chianzu just runs forward, barrages, wins a strike war for the barrier. But on the bounce house, anything is possible as Dropletto goes for a bull rush into nowhere. But all good. Gret's the one who needs to watch out here as Joker is looking to hunt, looking to try and find this KO, but not finding the sweet spot. Yeah, a bit of a scary bounce off the bumpers there. Forces Barcode to flip, but Dropletto was just there to capitalize. Flips through the Zenil, trying to get it in. It has taken a lot of damage. Both nets are open. And... Barco just used his flip. Reds also just used his flip. Energy down for everyone, but Joker, who has a flip of his own, definitely has the opportunity to make something happen, especially with Shanzi with the ball there. Looking to get it to him. Pops it. Ooh. And takes the shot on the bottom. Bows a bunch over committing top corner. All their resources going right there. And Joker has a free shot down. Well played by Joker. Needed to make something with that flip and did indeed convert. And now the Bozo Bunch taking it slow, but Joker, again, that mobility on the Zentaro paying dividends. A lot more control over the entire map. The barrier is down. Joker going in, almost dead. But if he scores, all is well. And of course, the healing coming out from Barcode. Drop letter trying to chase, but can't chase too far. Good de defense by Gret as Joker continues to press the top side here. As the strike timings are all right from Obscure Breads to make the saves to keep this goal in the favor of the Bozo Bunch, perhaps. A good drifting shot gets one barrier. They're looking for two. Dropletto has been very on point with the strikes this series and last series as well. But there, Joker's the one with Barcode who just presses right through that pendulum swing from Obscure Breads. No resources available, and that's a goal for Showtime. Yeah, insane win there. Uh, I couldn't even tell you how that interaction played out. And the Showtime looking really strong here. Something interesting I, I've noticed that I don't think I've heard anyone talk about. I'm sure they have. But it, you know, we've got that Atlas here, usually paired with characters like Octavia now. And, and, you know, low stagger characters. But Zentaro is also <laughs> really, really, really low stagger and benefits greatly from the ult, as we saw earlier, getting healed up after being staggered. And it's, it's a really interesting combo that I, I don't think I've, I've ever thought of before, so I, I like that a lot. Makes this comp look even better. <laughs> it's Atlas and then Kai and Zentaro, two characters with some of the lowest stagger tiers in the game. And uh, it's it's really working out. The, they're taking a lot of damage, but the KOs have not been coming through as often. So... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shanzu looking to live, but having a rough time. Yeah, eventually going down. Good elusive earlier to not get blown up by the massive drop Leto. As another KO combo was attempted by drop Leto. And with Gret going down, the Bozo Bunch are in quite a bit of trouble. Chianzu looking massive, looking to win against the Firewall Sentry. But you can't read what has no emotions. It stalls out the core enough. Gret on the offense now with drop Leto getting the barrier. And suddenly the Bozo Bunch looking to turn it around here. A good read by Obscure Breads on the strike by Joker. Just a routine forward strike just leads into amazing pressure by the Bozo Bunch. Converted upon by Drop Leto. We're headed to a point five. Although it kind of felt like Showtime were the ones in advantage for this entire set so far. The Bozo Bunch are keeping it even and they're even in the advantage right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, they... <laughs> it, they're no longer well, in the advantage. It appears that the advantage has, has shifted <gasps> in Showtime's favor. But the barrier, Core just... <laughs> grazing it but not taking it and, and Bred's getting KO'd earlier now fighting back trying to take Joker out but a great Giga Blast is going to get that last barrier Shionzu <laughs> looking to win it all Joker 
out, but Barcode has a flip, and I think Showtime's looking really strong this point. Yeah, flip by Barcode, kept in the enemy side by the Bozo Bunch, keeping this offensive play alive. But an amazing shot by Gred will open up the barriers. The Pendulum Swing right into Joker's face, doing damage, keeping the core forward. Exactly what the Bozo Bunch need. They find the KO. Obscure Brush tries to send it down. Might be a little bit of a mistake, but it's okay because Gret has possession, trying to hit onto Barcode here. Cleared up to the top side again as Shianzu sends the core forward, trying to catch any clears from Obscure Breads, but Breads not making any mistakes so far. Shianzu now lurking, trying to catch anything here as Joker wins the strike war in the midfield to keep the core forwards. Walks a little bit in front of Gret, but this time Gret's the one who sends the core a little bit forwards. Obscure Breads hooks it. Gret catches it as well to make sure the Zentaro can't get it forward again, but it goes to drop Leto. The strike reset. Not enough. Great saves by Barcode. And Drop Leto just looking for one strike, a flip to the bottom side. Joker pulls the trigger, finds the goal, and gets Showtime out of a potential nightmare. They're the ones in the control now. Yeah, just back, back to back to back. Showtime. <laughs> Incredible wins on their interactions. Saves that, you know, one minor mistake. Just frames earlier or later. Core would have gone in. And now... Shots are rewarded with the Chrono Boost, leaving up Catalyst and, and not opting for Stagger. I think Chrono Boost is probably the right choice, if not Catalyst. But they're, oh, wow. Yeah. Letting Joker pick up Catalyst. Uh, the Adrenaline Rush picked up I'm not too by sure Red instead. And, yeah, I Catalyst, pretty good. I was going to say, like, Shianzu is you know, a, a very smart player, and I, I don't think... I've ever seen him make a drafting mistake, so obviously the Chrono Boost is intentional. And Joker picking up Catalyst there, <laughs> you know, looking great. But well, uh, well, obviously, I I think Red should have picked up Catalyst no, no, there. No, it was more on the Joker thing. You said looking great. He he, he got hooked off the map. Now it's up to uh, Shianzu, well, who solo barrier takes, and maybe he is looking great. Maybe he's not necessary for that barrier. Yeah, it is back. Shianzu taking the brunt of the damage now. And right now, Showtime's just looking to get it out. But again, a lot of damage coming in on Shianzu, who gets taken out. And uh, it seems like Bozo Punch, especially with this extra special X, uh, has a little bit of damage, has a little bit of KO potential. And in fact, they entirely drafted damage. With Deadeye Rasmus and Adrenaline Rush on Gret. Things might get really scary for, for Showtime. Barco's going to have to try and out-heal the damage Ooh. coming in, but I don't know if they can. Yeah, and that's a rough core flip whiff from Joker. Doesn't have it for the ens ensuing play from Gred. Well-placed past the abilities of Showtime as the Bozo Bunch take a small lead in this set. And my eyes are on Gred, right? That Adrenaline Rush pickup instead of going for the Catalyst. That's a statement drafting decision. You're giving up an incredibly powerful awakening to an incredibly good user of it. Centaro having a million hits and also getting hit quite a bit. But so far, it's looking pretty successful for the Bozo Bunch. Every single potential KO is massive. But this time, it is Dropletto being taken out by Joker. No flick here, though. Means that Obscure Breads makes the save. And it's actually Shianzu who goes down. Gret has the Adrenaline Rush now, has the speed, but misreads the clear. Doesn't get KO'd, though. Joker, great attempt, but... Good flip usage, I gotta say. It's worth using it for that purpose when you have the cattles, when you build it up in an instant. But that's an amazing barrier take by the Bozo Bunch. They push into advantage now. Drop Leto wins the Strike Wars forward, and Barcode's gonna be forced to make some really good clears here. But it's just Drop Leto looking absolutely massive, double the size of Showtime, striking it in. Yeah, just continuing to be <laughs> his absolute force of nature, tearing through everything in his path. And Bozo Bunch is up 2-0 right now this set. You know, looking incredible. Whereas Showtime had the dominance last set. And now it seems like they're they're really struggling to <laughs> manage the damage coming out. As great revive coming in from Joker, but just taking a ton of damage again. And I like you said, this adrenaline rush pickup has been so nice. That being said, it doesn't matter if Shianzu was alive and well, able to barrage it in. And that he will. Showtime getting a point, getting back in the set, and might be looking to reverse sweep it. 
Definitely a possibility here, but a great kickoff from the Bozo Bunch, maintaining possession, pushing it forward with the Firewall Sentry. And Joker taking a lot of damage early as Dropletto takes the barriers. Good strikes though as Showtime keep it forward. Shianzu pulled back, but getting double barriers regardless. Shianzu taking over the game at the moment, being allowed to run free. But now there's a passing play from the Bozo Bunch. Expands from Barcode will halt it in its tracks. A flip from Barcode to the other side of the world. And Joker now creating a tough situation, but Breds will just spin it away. Brett trying to get it out of the corner, forward to drop Leto. But Joker continues pushing it forward. Another whiff flip. It's going to be a little tough when these are two instances of energy being wasted. Obscure Breds, what a save! Pulling it out of the barrage of Shianzu, but it's not enough as Joker finds the passive strike to send us to another point five. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Just going back and forth here. Something I've noticed is that Showtime really excels when they're when they have the ball on the enemy side, which sounds dumb, but like they they have an atlas. They have a lot of defensive potential. And that shouldn't be a problem. But like when when the ball is on Bozo's side, the only person really oh. taking damage is Joker. But, but Hey, some, about sometimes, <laughs> sometimes accidents happen and, and things are not as they seem as Bozo Bunch is getting the second barrier, almost getting the goal right there, and Obscure Breads is pushing up. He's just playing forward. Obscure Breads is with the flip. The barrier has gone down. Joker has a flip available here, but Joker cannot convert. Punched away by Dropletto, staggered. And that might be the critical moment of this game. That could have been Showtime in a 2-0 lead. But now it's the Bozo Bunch pushing forward. Still saved away by Barcode though. A strike war won by Shianzu who is looking to do it all himself. As Gret now on the bottom side just forcing Joker away who is taking so much damage. Joker could be KO'd here. A weird clear by Obscure Breads. A very, very rare defensive mistake from the Bozo Bunch goalie. And Joker will capitalize. It's 3-2. It's 2-0. I, that that missed core flip doesn't matter anymore because Showtime is now in the lead. Yeah, just Showtime up two sets after getting 3-0'd last game. And now here's here's the draft that Showtime wants to see. <laughs> 500 Stagger Awakenings and Reptile Remedy being picked up immediately by Shianzu is going to be massive. Big Fish going to Joker. Bulk up going to Dropletto is a little scary. Like 30 power on the guy who has an extra 30 power. Terrifying, but uh, this is a great draft for Showtime. Both goalies picking up orbs, but uh, Ponderer Atlas <laughs> is not something to sneeze at. Neither is Dance Erasmus, of course, but just with everything else Showtime has, countering all the damage that uh, Bozo Bunch picked up last draft, gonna be really nice as Joker picked up the Maelstrom orb. He's going big mode. He's looking to get this last barrier right here. That was actually a critical glitch pop from Gret there, halting Joker's approach for a moment, but will flip for the barrier regardless. And with that barrier taken down, now it's Joker and Shianzu pushing on for the goal. They have so much forward pressure, like you mentioned, when the core is on the Bozo Bunch side. Showtime look confident. They're pushing in. The Oni's blade, Shianzu covering the clear. And Joker had passive strike just in case anyway. Well played by Showtime. They're looking to clean up this game and send us to a third. But the Bozo Bunch, it's not like they're without tools either. Look at Gret pushing in with the Firewall Sentry, but it does disappear. And Shianzu and Joker both have flips available. Yeah, fl flips for the entirety of Showtime. One being popped right there. Joker not able to get the barrier, unfortunately. Saved away by Breds. Another flip coming out from Barcode. One barrier down for each. Shianzu holding on to his. Using it here, trying to get it forward. Red's using his flip. It's <laughs> energy everywhere. Gret has a flip now. And we'll Might be trying to use it for the goal, him. I think. With the firewall mm -hmm. sentry coming in. I'm trying to use it for the barrier here, but a little too far away from said barrier. And it's blocked away. But there, a great strike war by Obscure Breds to make sure that Joker cannot take this one. A bounce down to Gret. Well passed, but it goes into the hands of Shiantu. But Dropletto has just killed the Atlas. The stacks on the orbs reset. The barrier looking to be taken, but right out of reach. Barely unable to press forward or the Bozo Bunch. And with Barcode respawning, that could be devastating. They get a power play. They kill the goalie, but they do not even get the barrier. And their barrier is now under threat. Joker pushing forward. Shianzu finding the rebound. But the barrier taken. Gret with a massive chance. Joker with a flip available. And spun away by Obscure Breads. 
and Joker almost having a great or looking for a great shot straight forward. But the Oni's blade, all of his ults this game have been beautiful. And picking up the big fish makes him even bigger. He's just able to cover so much space in the box and do things like that. Where he, he just like checkmate spreads and there's nothing he can do. Now Showtime on match point, looking to win this game too. Able to get one barrier. Can they get the other in this push? Ooh. Ooh. Well, Joker going down is not spelling well for this push, but Shianzu has done these outplays before, but Bozo Bunch smartly passing around, not making Shianzu a factor at all. But Shianzu just drops back on the defense, makes sure that the damage is limited to only one barrier, and Barco is just going to be stacking those orbs, getting more cooldowns. And now Obscure Bread's in a tough spot with a flip in his face, a hook on the other side, not what you want to see. Showtime, one goal away, Joker and Shianzu both low. Joker taken out, but Barcode has flipped. Shianzu has scored like this before. They got to watch out. Yeah, Shianzu, no energy. Can and, and might just be the subject of a ton of damage if he's not careful. Barcode with a flip. Might be able to use it right here. Get a little bit of momentum. Keep it out. Drop Leto looking low, but this is Showtime's opportunity. Shianzu trying to get it to Joker. Unable to. <gasps> <laughs> Gets knocked out and revived by Barcode. Now Joker has another flip already. This is their opportunity. They just have to get it out and into a favorable position. Oh! Great kill flip No, they found. don't think... Yeah, did they kill just, that guy. Did you just find the power play here as Joker up to Shianzu looking to close out this game here. Giga Blast goes wide, cleared away by Obscure Breads, and Gred Joker with the dribbles forward. And the center doesn't pop right there. Critical moment for the Bozo Bunch. They're in slight favor but a flip available from Joker, trying to flick it up to the top side. Not quite a barrage now. Good patience by Obscure Breads. A flip available, sent to the safe side for now. And once again, they're finding the saves as Joker heals up a little bit. A Strike War 1, Obscure Breads aggressively pushing forward with the Orb Dancer to make the clears. A Giga Blast to make it ambiguous. Still saved away by Obscure Breads. Shianzu pushing in with the barrage. Not enough to Bozo Bunch defend and find the KO on Joker once again. Joker's died so many times, but Barcode, just keeps on standing as this wall makes sure that this barrier still stands and it continues making the saves the barrier not going down still An amazing astral projection and obscure breads has got to watch out because now joker's back yeah barcode <laughs> living up to the iron wall <laughs> as he's just not letting this barrier go down and it's do or die for bozo bunch they have to get this <gasps> point or else it's over but breads gets knocked out it's just Muncher in a 1v2, and the passing plays between Joker and Shianzu will be letting it get in. That's going to be a 3-0 in response from Showtime. And we're going to the first Game 3 of the entire playoffs. At the 500th game is inconclusive. It sends us to another. And that was exactly what Showtime needed, right? I think the Zentaro pick, especially with that heavy impact start, gave the team just enough of, of the core control to keep the core forward. And Shianzu and Joker, the, these found their individual plays. Showtime just were able to basically just freestyle on the core. And I think that was very, very beneficial from them compared to the first game. Yeah, absolutely. They just had so much control over the core and with Barcode and the healing that he offered, it didn't get knocked out that much. Well, Drop Leto has eight KOs, but uh, I don't know. It's It felt like it was really hard to knock them out. They were able to live in a lot of situations. And even if they did get the KO, they just couldn't get through Barcode in the power play. It was just <laughs> standing on business, not letting the barrier go down. And... I think that's that's a really big deal. We're going on to Tycho Temple next, which is another map that Atlas really thrives on. These melee goalie picks where you can just hold infinitely. If Barcode's able to put on another performance like that, it might be Showtime spinning it around and taking this game and taking <laughs> that spot in loses finals. Yeah, and I think a big factor is also, you mentioned Gret. Has played the Saimi quite a few times, but it isn't what we know that player for, right? When we see the name I, we think of those characters that speed boost. Era, 
Kai, Octavia, now. We think of those characters. And I think that although it didn't look bad, I, I, I think that it, it just felt like a little something was missing from the Bozo Bunch team. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I agree. And I think that you know, we're going on to Tycho, and that's a map that Bozo Bunch, I believe, enjoys a lot. And if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, in the regular season, played the Octavia Asher comp into Showtime and was able to just win really confidently here. So I am, I'm actually pretty confident about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if we're getting a run back here in, in this game three, we might be seeing that comp come out again. You know, it, it proved its worth last time. So it, if they do, it's up to Showtime to respond to it. And I, it's, it's hard. I don't know how you respond to that comp. Yeah, I, with Octavia falling out of favor, I, they might be hesitant to go for it depending on the start. But I do agree that the Asher is something we've seen from Dropletto quite a bit on this map, on Tycho Temple. Showtime, sticking to their guns, banning away. The Fini, making sure Obscure Breads can't play that staple goalie that's become a mainstay of top-level play. The Bozo Bunch now, they have a lot of questions heading into this draft. And, and the, I don't know how they're going to do it. They're, need, they're going to need to find a different kind of composition. I do not believe in the Aimee. And there's the now pick from Showtime, Shianzu, the character that made Shianzu famous. This is the now, the Bozo Bunch ban away the Kai. And suddenly, I'm a little scared because it feels like Showtime has a control of this draft. Yeah, really. Bozo Bunch banned away a pick from Shionzu and then left open a more favorable pick for Shionzu. Especially on this map where creations are super powerful in these small lanes. It's, I, I imagine that they have a, a game plan going into this, but that seems really scary for Bozo Bunch. They're locking in the Dubu, though. Right there, Bred's getting on that melee goalie grind on the Tycho Temple. Also a great pick. You know, on, I, all of Dubu's buttons just kind of win in the corner. It, you drop a wall, and they're not going to get through. Asher being picked up, and that's really interesting because I know uh, Joker loves the Asher forward pick. Drop is going to be locking it in, and so taking that away... Oh, and here's the IME again. Well, it's, it's do or die here. Will Gret yep. perform on this pick on Tycho Temple when it matters is the question. Against the Shianzu now, against Barcode on a lockdown goalie, Showtime looking confident, looking very, very good heading into this third game. The Bozo Bunch need to perform. Yeah, this is their last chance. You know, like you said, do or die, and you know, it, it all comes down to this. Same for Showtime. You know, they, they're coming in with the momentum, hot off a game win, but if they aren't able to, to keep that up, then Bozo Bunch might just run through them. And so really, really tense here. Going to be... It, it sounds dumb to say this is going to be a big deal because it's, it's playoffs. Obviously, it's a big deal, but it, there's there's a lot of moving pieces going into this game three, and so you know, even letting letting one thing go is going to make a huge difference. So it's got to be incredibly tense for these players. Yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. We know exactly how Showtime will play here. <laughs> the same way they've played the previous games. Shianzu looking for an individual outplay or to force it through to Joker. Barcode locking it down for what seems like forever. And we're going to be seeing something very similar for the Bozo Bunch. Maybe that guy was onto something when he said that these two teams are like versions of each other here. It's, it's going to be a very, very decisive game. It, everything... Rides on this. Which team will make it to the top three of season four playoffs?
Yeah, loading in here. Already, Joker getting a great KO <laughs> off rip with the bull rush. And looking at the the awakenings, it's extra special bulk up start, but bulk up only dropping down to the two brawlers here. Extra special on everyone else. And that's <laughs> really, really strong on every character that picked it. Great opportunities, but now Joker getting the double barrier in a little bit of Mako speed. <laughs> It helps soften up Gret here. Things are looking Showtime favor just like last game. It's going to take Boza Bunch <laughs> getting something similar to the double barrier that Showtime got to get it through. Shionzu going for a flip. Not able to get it, and they are keeping up the pressure here. Yeah, but great saves by the Bozo Bunch. Obscure Breads keeps it oh. locked down. Dropletto falls again. That's two deaths here. But without any dash range, Joker can't catch the core, and Breads keeps the defense going along. With Gret, the flip expended and the goal found, but the Bozo Bunch. I mean, there's there's this aspect of at the very least we did get Joker's flip, we did get an energy off, and they do have obscure breads with meter filling up a little bit. But Dropletto going down means that he couldn't build up the energy, so the Bozo Bunch not in a great spot. An amazing corner bounce! What a shot by Showtime! And suddenly the Bozo Bunch in so much trouble. It, it was looking like a slow start, an even game, maybe even a one-one. But after that. They're in such a predicament. Yeah, two double barriers in a row. It has to feel bad. And Showtime's just going to take that and run with it. You know, obviously very nice. Bows a bunch. Looking to get these barriers here. Just shrug it off and get back to business. Doing really well so far. Almost getting it with the barrier beam. Dropletto having a lot of really nice strikes, but Barcode's just not relenting. Yeah, keeping it locked down, the barrier stays up. Dropletto trying to dribble here, but Shianzu will flip it away. Trying to find the pass angle through to Dropletto, but they're just not that present in the midfield right now. Joker and Shianzu are just both standing at midline. And an amazing primary by Shianzu after the strike catches Obscure Breads off guard. That's 2-0 so far, and Showtime are looking very, very good. They're looking to try and make the comeback in this series, and they're the ones in the lead now. Yeah, <laughs> looking great right here. And something interesting is we've, we've been seeing a lot of long points all day. And that point wasn't particularly long, but there are so many flips. All of Bo's a bunch of a flip. Barcode's got a flip. Joker just got a flip. Like, And there's one. We're going to be seeing a lot come out all of a sudden. And these points that go long are just opportunities to generate a ton of energy. And then it becomes so crucial when they're used. Now both barriers down though for Boza Bunch. Showtime is just <laughs> keeping on the pressure the entire time, running away with it. Red sending it down into drop low, trying to find an opportunity, but Shianzu finds a good bounce up to Joker, and Gret goes down. Shianzu now with the dribbles forward to Joker once again to Tofu Fortress to maybe cut off one scoring angle, but Shianzu just sends it in with the secondary. Perfectly played a team play by Showtime here. And they take a 3-0 first set. They get priority in the Awakenings. And there's some scary now Awakenings that could be on the board. Catalyst, a lot of energy buildup. But it isn't that monumentalist that could have been a game ender. Yeah. In Showtime, hoping for a Manu in the draft here. It's going to take a Catalyst. Hey. <laughs> Very similarly good Awakening. Stacks on stacks going to Joker. That's the other Awakening I was looking at in this draft. And just... Speed is, is so nice. Peak performance going to Dropletto, who did get KO'd a few times, opting for the the more reliable speed. But stacks on stacks X is scary. If that guy's able to stay alive, keep his stacks, then you just have <laughs> this character who whose only distinct weakness is that he's pretty slow, just not having that anymore. You know, big, big slow, tanky X just becomes <laughs> a fast fast evil demon king and you just have to deal with that being said you can KO him so you know Bo's a bunch might have to lock onto a a new win condition here it's in the meantime <gasps> Shanzu with the great flip defended by Scarebreads and Gret there and hey, Bo's a bunch is, is looking really nice at this point uh, I think they've you know, taken a moment to get their bearings and are playing really well yeah, they somehow hold that barrier still standing, and importantly, Dropletto picked up that peak performance, right, along with the bulk up. 
a lot of stagger, a lot of speed on Dropletto now. And Obscure Brett still maintaining that barrier. A lot of meter built up for Joker as Dropletto sets up, but Barcode plays it patiently and builds up a flip to use on the defense here as Obscure Brett dribbles forward. A stun on Joker looking for this flip but cannot convert. Well played by Gret looking to get the barrier and will finally get it off of a bounce on the center. Elusiving forward still staying alive somehow. Almost dead but still surviving as Joker converts onto the other barrier. Shianzu sends it through and the Bozo Bunch cannot get there fast enough. A perfect shot by Shianzu. Showtime still looking like they're in full control. Yeah, great redirect by Shianzu to keep all that core speed that it was coming in with. And, and despite Bozo Bunch having a lot of really strong defensive plays, th that whole point, Showtime was still able to get it. Joker going going for the double barrier once again. He sees the opportunity, but Bred's able to cover it. A nice adaptation, a able to, to get there in time. And a in spite of all that, both barriers are down and it, it seems like it is... <laughs> It's Showtime's game once again. Yeah. Drop Leto though. Looking for a dribbling play. Looking to have some of that magic like they did in the previous series. Like in the first game of this one. But Xianzu might just be a little different here. Looking for the dribbles. Looking to send it past the Tofu Fortress that Obscure Bread's throwing out. Xianzu to the top side. An amazing primary by Xianzu at the perfect moment. Covers the option. No flip from the Bozo Bunch. And Showtime, five straight points in this game. Yeah, I, I mean, not, not something super common, but a lot of people, not a lot of people, I just said it wasn't very common. And Ben Collins, Shianzu the robot, because he just always has these, like, frame-perfect plays, and that was just one of them, where he, he just had the primary, timed it perfectly, it, you know, sent it at the perfect angle, everything. It's just, like... <laughs> Pre-programmed prim primary to just send it in, oh. and it was beautiful. And hey, oh, Bozo Bunch putting on some beautiful plays of their own. Coming back here, not looking to <laughs> take this lying down. Yeah, and uh, that was basically their last opportunity. Opportunity in that point, Showtime was gearing up for a push of their own. They had the resources, they had everything, but that's a KO found. But Drop Leto will one v two for a moment. Looking to defeat the robot here as Shianzu flips it up to the top side of flip by Obscure Breads to send it away and Barcode clearing away casually. Obscure Breads, what a defensive play to get past Joker as Dropletto patrols the midfield. Asher looking very, very solid in the midfield here, but it's passed up to Joker. And on the rebound, Joker will convert onto the barrier. The Bozo Bunch, if they want to stay alive, they need to get this point. Dropletto stuns Joker at the last possible moment to make the save. And the Bozo Bunch keep it going. But Barco's not going to let this barrier fall too easily. But that's a flip burned. That's an important resource down. But Joker off the middle once again. That's the second bounce shot. That's been perfect off the corner. Yeah, beautiful angle. It's just going to pop that right there and... That's another set for Showtime. And just, again, running away with it. Shianzu taking MVP in the draft once again. Not a whole lot that, that screams now. Abyss might be taking up the chrono boost, but just takes Unstoppable. Not letting Bozo Bunch have it. And, and taking a nice defensive option. Might have Colossus denied. Or, or just picked up by Gret here. Going to be going for a little bit of size. On Amy not letting <laughs> Mako or X take it. And, and again, size just being denied from the X. Rampage going to Breads. And now Joker picking up Prize Fighter. It's still just still rough for Bozo Bunch because they two of their picks were devoted to denying the X, and then he just gets 23 power anyway. And is now showing that 188 power. And I, I there's no other way to put it than just that feels bad. That feels awful. <laughs> the X pick is just, he just does this, and it's its looking really good. The damage is coming out, and Showtime is just blitzing these barriers. Yeah, it's looking like a complete opposite of that first game, right? The first game where Dropletto and Gret were the ones who were looking absolutely dominant, winning the forward war while Barcode was the one forced to be on the defense. Now it's the opposite. Joker and Chianzu are the ones who are activated 
But right here, things may be different if Dropletto can convert. Gret keeping the corner locked down, but Dropletto's being taken so low. Despite the passing plays, taken out by the flip of Joker to the top side. It goes now, the one-two punch, the core speed, it feels like. As Gret has the dribbling play, but there's the cage and not enough hits to get past it in the moment. Obscure Bread's forced to make the saves yet again. Sending it to the bottom side, buying a lot of time, but it's into the hands of Shianzu, who you know can line up a shot. Gret as well being taken out by Joker. And now Shianzu not even necessary. Joker just hitting a shot to the bottom corner. And that's showtime. Two goals away from moving on. Yeah, three prize fighter stacks racked up by Joker. <laughs> All lights on this guy. 234 power X. Almost fully stacked up on, on the stacks. One KO onto Joker would be devastating. <laughs> A box office buster. But unless they can unless they can get it done, it looks like Showtime's just gonna run away with this game. This X just has all the stats in the world. And and not a lot is gonna stop him. Yeah. Looking to try and find this barrier is Gred. Uses the flip. Does get it actually. But Joker has the flip now. Looking for a shot to the top side. Drop Leto reacts in time. Gets it past with the barrier beam. But look at that. Gred. Not long for this world. Almost taken out. Blinks forward. Survives. And now Drop Leto trying to get it past. A clear up to the top side. Gred dodging away. Shianzu pushing forward. Joker looking to win the strike war. Stunned away by Breds. And a perfect stun by Shianzu. Breds was about to flip. Waited a little too long. Tried to patiently wait for Joker's ability. But it was Shianzu who got the stun in before Breds could push the flip button. And now Showtime. Just one goal away from closing out this series. From advancing to top three. Yeah. Again, just like... A frame-perfect play from Shianzu. Incredibly well done. Got the stun on Breds. But Boza Bunch, once again, back against the wall, clapping back. Getting both barriers. And <laughs> Breds with this flip. It, they're sitting pretty right now. Sorry. Yeah, I well, take it back. Well, that, that flip's <laughs> gone, but the Boza Bunch chances are not just yet. Red pushing forward with the firewall sentry, forcing it right through. And drop Leto, perfect barrier beam. The Bozo Bunch not out of it just yet. They get a point, and if they can convert like that, if they can have offensive opportunities like that 1v1, Gred versus Barcode, this is how they could still win this game, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at, uh, at all. <laughs> it, it was... It's been very difficult for Bozo Bunch to get anything done, get their game plans off. But now, getting that one point, a little bit of momentum, a little bit of confidence restored in their game plan and their gameplay, able to get this one barrier. Drop Leto, <laughs> going, going real fast here. That peak performance, bulk up. It's kind of gliding in the enemy goal box. And a KO is found on Shianzu. That's huge. Power play here. Bows a bunch of opportunity to get through. Drop Leto in the cage, but it doesn't matter because in the 1v1, Gret is able to get it and then drop Leto. Winning the interaction, putting it in the net, and Boza Bunch is not done yet. One more goal is all it takes here to try and mount a Boza Bunch comeback. Drop Leto forces it directly through the ensnared drums. The core bounces to the top side. That's a barrier. Take Obscure Breads prevents the barrier from going down on the other side, but Joker has some good clears. Obscure Breads, though, somehow manages to keep the barrier alive. What a log. Shianzu converts afterwards. And Joker finds the flip. This is turning downhill for the Bozo Bunch. Showtime. Looking to advance here as Breds and Drop Leto mount a desperate defense. And the roll will not be enough. It will be Showtime. The victors, they will be the ones in top three. Yeah, well executed by Showtime. Just, hey, they make it look easy on the stage. <laughs> back to back, three O's. Bozo Bunch almost coming back that game in that last set but unfortunately just unable to to surmount all of the the pressure the 200 redirect now and the 8 million power 500 million speed x and that's gonna be showtime going straight to top three it'll be moving on to day two and bows a bunch unfortunately clocking in at fourth place which hey is exactly what you predicted yeah uh, well, I'm kind of sad for the Bozo Bunch, but 
Yo, random prediction. Correct. Oh, that doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> yes! Congratulations to Showtime. They looked lost in the first game. Like, I'm not going to lie. Bozo Bunch oh, swept that first game, but Showtime, they had the resilience. They adapted. They figured it out. And they dominated afterwards. Just well played. And uh, yeah, just a really, really good series from Showtime. They advance. They'll face the loser of Sad Boys and Demons Raw next week and try to go even further.